know that just a few years ago, fewer than half of teens in foster care were graduating from high school. Well, now, thanks to a program at Treehouse, mm -hmm. things have changed, and it's pretty awesome. Yes, yeah, so we want to introduce, we've got CEO of Treehouse, uh, Janet, um, what is your name? Your Janice. Name? Avery, Janice Avery, yes. and then this is Mich Mich Marshall Freelix, which I keep wanting to call you Jordan because you said you've got two names. I'm like, oh, we got the same name. Let's find that. <laughs> but her, her actual birth name is Marshall, so I wanted to make sure to get that out there. How are you two doing? Great, thank Good. you. Yeah, okay, you. we want to start with a photo from Marshall because she just, you know, recently obviously graduated high school, and this is a big deal given the fact of what Angela just said, how recently fewer than 50% of folks in the foster care program were not graduating. So this day for you was like what? Uh, it was one of the most exciting days of my life, to be honest. About nine, probably, right? right? Yes. That is so cool. And she just started college yesterday at... Uh, University of Washington, Tacoma. UW Tacoma! Yay! Yep, That's so All cool. Right. And you were part of the graduation success program at Treehouse. Uh, yes, so I what was. did that involve? Like, how did it help you? Um, it helped me a lot. Um, I would say that without Marissa, without Treehouse, I probably wouldn't have graduated because I had... Um, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, I moved out. Um, I had gotten a car accident. So just a lot of stuff was going on throughout the months of my senior year. Mm -hmm. um, so with Marissa, she swooped in and she helped me with a lot of, um, when I got in a car accident, it was a really bad one. And it totaled my car out and I was stuck with money. I was stuck on, should I go get a new car? Because I live all, I had lived all, I still live in Seattle mm -hmm. and I was commuting to Kent or would I have to, or should I pay the towing bill off? So I was really stuck between that, and um, Treehouse came in and helped me with that, and that was just a big takeoff yeah. in wow. my head. Huge and, thing. Um, but yeah, I would say that she helped me stay on focus. She mm -hmm. helped me stay focused in my classes and stuff, and um, just making sure that I had everything I needed for like college and stuff. She helped me write my essay and like looked it over for me. Mm -hmm. um, she helped me. Uh, we actually met with one of the supervisors at the University of Washington Tacoma, um, and he was one of the ones that advocated for me to get help get into the college. Yeah. So, so you had advocates, supporters, right? Mentors. Yeah. Mentors. That's yeah. Amazing. I would say her. So t Marissa is kind of like her job name is an education specialist. But to me, I, when people ask like, "Oh, who is she?" or when I have to go meet up with lunch, lunch with her, my boyfriend asks, "Oh, who is she?" Or, to me, she's like my mentor. Aww. So she helps me like all around. She extended her wing. You're so, right here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Janice, what are some of the barriers for teens in foster care in terms of graduating? So the youth end up moving around a lot from foster home to foster home. Mm -hmm. And every time a kid changes schools, they lose time in school. And so then maybe they've missed a class or they're retaking classes, mm -hmm. but they don't move forward. The progress gets really arrested. Yeah. What kind of progress are we seeing? I mean, It's fabulous. So we have almost a thousand students with a, a mentor like Marshall's mm -hmm. and they're graduating on time at a rate of 69 percent, which is a big improvement over From that less than, less than 50. 50. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, less than 50. So I know we don't have a ton of time, but what were some of the key things you did in this program that make a difference? The mentor being the mentor one, is one. Right? Watching attendance, behavior, and course performance, okay. because those are the things that trip people up. We teach kids how to set goals for themselves, set action steps each week, and then every week reevaluate them. So I'm sure you did a lot of that. Mm -hmm. and, yes. it's, and you get good at it. How right. do you connect no, some of these kids to Treehouse? Because I'm sure there's a lot of kids in foster care that would love the opportunity. Is it as simple as you make um, visits to, to foster programs and just say, hey, we're here? Or is it up to the child to say, no, so, I want it? No, we're a partner with the state's Children's Administration mm -hmm. to, to make sure this happens is available for every student. So they give us every young person's name. That's great. We get to reach out to them, ask them to participate, and about 80% say yes. How can yeah. we help? What do you want? Um, we have a lot of people watching. How can we support Treehouse and the work you're doing? Obviously for you, I mean, how would you describe the impact being partnered with Treehouse um, has made in your life? Um, as I said before, it, it was it made a big impact on my life. Um, but the thing is, foster, for the foster kid, you have to be able to want the help. So mm -hmm. growing up in the foster care system, you don't really trust a lot of people. So when we have... Um, 
people like Treehouse or different companies like the YMCA just trying to help like it's their job we think for them to help us so we kind of are distant dis distancing ourselves mm -hmm. and um, we just have to be open to take their help because my first couple years I was kind of like uh, just I was like trust them, I yeah know. I was just yeah. like going with the flow meeting with them talking to them but then when Marissa came in um, to my life um, she really helped me and I started uh, opening up to her a lot more and um, they helped me a lot and I would say I mean that's I would say I always tell her that she's the reason I graduated because I don't I don't think if it was for her and my mom I probably wouldn't have graduated and you're and what do you want to do when you're done graduation graduate um, I want to become a homicide detective so I'll be working in that field of becoming working my way up to that that's amazing yeah congratulations on everything Thank you. And just let you finish that point anything we can do to support you absolutely so you can tell young people in foster care need clothes backpacks school supplies mm -hmm. they need cash to help with things like car accidents when those mm -hmm. come up mm -hmm. and then to pay for great things like yearbooks and proms and things like that right. mm -hmm. so the whole community participates with us to make that happen okay. people volunteer to tutor or to be a job shadow kind of Ooh. opportunity that's a, an easy way somebody could help a youth explore careers. Awesome. And we made yeah. it easy. We can have everybody just text the word grad right there on the bottom yeah. of your screen. We're going to kick you back a link so you can maybe help out. If you've ha heard any of those opportunities, that would be greatly appreciated. Yep. Yeah. Text Thank the you. word grad. Janice, Thank you so Thank much. You yes. yeah. Yeah. Thank All right, you. Chris. Love Treehouse. Great work they're doing. In fact, you know we like to make you smile here on Take 5. Treehouse will do that for you on Instagram. If you don't follow them, you should. In fact, I just brought up their account. Look at this. Janice and Marcel, right there on our set. It's like an infinity mirror. So check them out. They will keep you up to date on the great work they are doing. Thanks for being here. We love having you here.